Northeast Ohio and the rest of the country is cutting the cord on 3G cellular networks, so that means you could soon lose service if you're using an older device. News 5's Catherine Ross explains why it's not just your cell phone that could be affected by this change. For the 12 years Phil Seti Anthem has lived in his Rocky River home, he's relied on his home security system. There have been times there are people who try to just walk into the house and, um, you know, the alarm kind of tripped and the police responded right away and we weren't home. That peace of mind runs on a tiny circuit card in a basement panel. It's one piece of technology many homeowners may not pay attention to. No, um, until Dan contacted me and said we need to upgrade and I said sure, whatever it takes. Dan Sermitis of North Coast Security Inc. has been busy calling customers to replace these 3G daughter boards. Here's the old and here is the new. As service providers phase out the aging network to make way for faster 5G technology. There's so much equipment out there in the background that relies on cellular technology that just keeps chugging along. Uh, ATMs, vending machines, all different types of things that do need to be upgraded on a so somewhat regular basis. You may need to update some older model cell phones, but the Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association says less than 1% of mobile data still relies on 3G. Other products like tablets, smartwatches, and certain medical devices may need to be replaced completely. And you should check if your vehicle emergency software could still run on 3G. If you haven't heard from the company, I'd give them a call and ask them. Sir Midas says supply chain backlogs could affect the availability of new parts, and he recommends checking sooner rather than later. Companies like AT&T and Sprint have already shut down their 3G networks. Most others plan to end their 3G by the end of the year. In Rocky River, Captain Ross, News 5. Local governments are also keeping an eye on the 3G shutdown. Fire and police alarm systems and angle monitors used by law enforcement could also be impacted. We reached out to Cuyahoga County to see if they expect any issues. They tell us the Sheriff's Department is aware of the 3G shutdown and has been working to make sure monitors used to track suspects when house arrests are current. They say their vendor is aware of the change and expects no trouble. Rob Courtney. 